Namaste. Namaste and welcome to this short practice for uh, the meridians associated with spring. So this is just a little thing you can do to get yourself into that spring feeling and get the energy moving in your body. So we're doing a few bits and pieces. I've brought a chair because you can do all of this sitting down if you want to. Um, so perfect for the chair yogis. Um, but uh, for those of us who, uh, but if you can, then try to do it standing up. That's the best way. Okay, so we're going to start just by standing or sitting, if you prefer, bringing the hands together at the center of the chest, taking a moment to close the eyes or gaze gently downward and step into your yoga space. So feel like you're perhaps just coming into a different place in your home. Perhaps you can even close the door behind you, mentally or physically, and step away from your list of things to do, the relationships with the people in your life. Anything that's been on your mind, give yourself this time, this space to do some self-nurturing and create some space in your mind as well. Notice how you're feeling. Notice how you're breathing. And when you're ready, you can relax your hands down and lift your eyes or open them. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, a practice called Kati Chakrasana or the Ragdoll. We're going to do this with the feet nice and wide apart, a little softness in the knees and taking the elbows wide, but bending the arms so that the palms face forward. Draw your shoulder blades back towards each other behind the body a little, not so much that you arch the back, but just enough to feel that openness in the space in the front of the body, perhaps a little bit in the uh, space underneath the rib cage. And as you look to the sides, perhaps your arms are either side of the body, and perhaps they're a little bit in front and that's okay if that's where your shoulders are. But too far back will probably mean that you've opened your chest a little bit too far. So in this position, gently twisting from side to side, a little firmness in the belly muscles, Allow your head to either follow the movement or keep your head steady in the center and simply rotate the upper part of the body, the upper torso. Trying here to keep the hips not static and not rigid, but passive. So not really involved so much in this particular part of the practice. And when you've built up a little bit of movement, and perhaps you're beginning to feel the body letting go of some of the postural tension here, you can begin to move the hips more with this movement and pivot on your feet. A little firmness across the belly, still keeping the arms, the arms are basically staying where they are, it's the body that's moving. And then if you want to, you can reach the arms out across the body, just one at a time. As you do that, pull the opposite elbow back behind you. So you get an increasing sense of openness on that side of the chest at the same time as you stretch down the opposite side of the body. If you want to, you can reach up, pulling the opposite elbow down, And if you want to, you can also reach down, pulling the opposite elbow up. After a few of these, you're going to come back to reaching across the body. And then allow the arms 
to soften so that they come down by the sides of the body. And you can perhaps do a little more of the classic Kati Chakrasana, where we relax the arms and the shoulders, and gentle twisting from side to side. And then when you're ready, you can bring your feet to stillness and allow your whole body to steadily return to stillness here in the center. When it does, take a moment to notice the difference between the movement and the stillness, and then roll your shoulders a few times. If you like, you can coordinate this movement with your breath, breathing in as you draw the shoulders forward and up, and breathing out as you draw the shoulders back and down. Reversing the motion, so you go the opposite way. Very good, and relaxing the arms to the sides. So we're going to come now into a wider stance. So a little bit wider in the body, and softening your knees so that you feel that your weight is sitting into the heels and a little bit down, really firm in the feet. You feel very grounded here, very connected to the earth. If you want to turn your feet a little bit further out, that's okay. We're going to start with the hands in soft fists, the elbows drawn back behind us. So those fists rest here at the sides of the body, just underneath the chest. And then we're going to alternate this position with stretching forward and also lengthening the legs a little bit, turning the fists down and then drawing the fists back, turning the fists up, elbows back behind the body. So just to begin with, getting into this stance of really sitting the weight down into the heels, rotating the arms as they come forward, rotating as they come back. Feel as if you're really pulling back with those elbows as well, opening the chest. And then here, you can maintain your uh, stance with the bent knees and go backwards and forwards with the fists as well. Rotating from the arms. Very good. And now we're going to coordinate with our breath. So inhaling here, and as you exhale through the mouth, a much more forceful movement. Inhaling slowly back, opening the chest, elbows back, exhaling. Now, relax for a moment, relaxing the arms, relaxing the legs. What we're doing here is letting go of tension uh, from our body. So anything that you feel that you're holding onto, whether it's a conflict, an old um, fight with somebody, uh, an old resentment. Um, it, perhaps it's just something weighing on your mind. Maybe you got passed over for a promotion. Maybe you fell out with one of your friends. Maybe you are feeling that you're not very happy inside yourself. Uh, maybe you're not very happy with what the government are doing. It could be anything, something that you're holding on to. Um, Anything that we hold on to like that is causing unease in the body. So we're going to get rid of it by punching this out of the body. So take this opportunity. It's a really healthy way to let go of anything that's been on your mind. So settle yourself into your bent knee stance, weight back into the heels, arms by the sides, palms turned upwards. Take a deep breath in, stare down your conflict and Breathe it out, breathing in. Stare it down with your eyes. <laughs> breathing in. And releasing. <laughs> breathing in. And releasing. <laughs> no, maybe two, two more. Breathing in. And releasing. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> and then just gently lengthening the legs turning the palms down and pressing any energy that's lifted in the body down to ground through into the feet, relaxing the arms to the sides. Rolling the shoulders if you need to, 
couple of times in each direction. And we're just gently going to bring our feet a little bit closer together. They don't have to come a long way close together, just a little. Wonderful stuff. And now to stretch out the sides of the body, we're going to do a little side bending. So taking your weight onto your left foot, coming up onto the ball of the right foot, reaching the left arm up and over to the right side as you reach down with the right arm. Coming up to the center, settling the right heel down, lifting up onto the left heel, uh, left ball of the foot, sorry, reaching the right arm over and just letting your hips come a little to the right side as you lean to the left and coming back to center. So we're going side to side, lifting onto the ball of the foot, reaching the hips away from the direction of the lean, coming back to the center and the opposite side. And back to center. See if you can do this breathing in as you go into your side bend and breathing out as you return. Breathing into your side bend and breathing out as you return. We'll do two more to each side. And breathing out. Breathing out. Breathing in, one more in each direction. Breathing in and breathing out. And again here, you can gather your hands into your center, palms turned down and just simply press your energy. Encourage it to flow down into grounding into the feet, relaxing the arms to the sides. Awesome stuff. Okay, so now we're going to combine uh, or to do even more lovely movements, but we're going to combine um, some of the side bending with our horse stance. So coming into a wide leg position again, settling yourself down into the heels. This time I'm turning my knees a little bit further out, my feet a little bit further out. Find what feels good for you. You can do this sitting on the edge of your seat as well, if you would like to. So here with our arms, I'm going to start with my uh, fists down by the side again. And this time, as I straighten my legs, I'm going to reach the fingers long, rotate through the arms and bring the backs of the hands towards each other over the head, but not touching, still apart. And as I breathe out, rotate through the arms, curl the hands into soft fists and bring the fists back down to the sides of the body. Breathing in, rotating through the arms, lengthening through the legs. Breathing out, rotating through the arms, curling the fingers back into a fist. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, try not to lean forward as you come into your wide leg squat. Breathing out, keep the weight back and down. Breathing in and breathing out. Relax for a moment, relaxing the legs long, turning the palms and just encouraging your energy down into the ground. Now, if you wanted to, you could do this a lot quicker. Um, uh, so if you feel moved to move in a much more dynamic, vigorous way, then you can coordinate your breath a little bit quicker and move more quickly with it. But for the practice today, um, I'm just going to demonstrate it nice and slowly. For our next practice, we're going to come back into our horse stance and reach the arms over the head. Imagine you're carrying a beach ball over your head and we're going to start by breathing in in the center, long arms, long legs, breathing out, bend your knees and gently lean over to the right side at the same time. Breathe in back to the center, long arms, long legs, breathing out, bending the knees and leaning over to the left. 
firm in the belly and the buttocks, breathing in and up, breathing out, sinking the hips down and side bending as well. Breathing in as you come up, breathing out, sinking the hips down, side bending. All of the time, just moving with your breath, doing what feels really good. It's okay to challenge yourself, but you might not want to necessarily do too many of these. You can build up slowly. If you want to, you can always sit on your seat and do the whole thing in the whole stance, just going from side to side with your breath. No need to straighten the legs in the middle. Lovely stuff. And I think we'll do one more to each side. The lower you sink down, the easier it is to bend to the side. And then finishing, lengthening through the arms and the legs, bringing the palms down through the center of the body or in front of the center of the body to ground your energy down into the ground. Relaxing the shoulders, turning the, part, the palms, to <laughs> feet to face forward. And here, if you're a chair yogi, I'd like you to use the back of your chair to do a chair ver version of the downward facing dog. So walking the feet away from the chair, paddling through the backs of the legs. And if you're not a chair yogi, that's okay. We're going to do a forward bend here. So the feet a little bit closer together, taking a deep breath in to open the chest. And as you breathe out, folding forward from the hips. You don't have to touch the ground here. You can hold elbow to elbow and maybe a little paddling through the backs of the knees. A little twisting of the torso from side to side, relaxing the back of the neck completely. Take a few deep breaths. And when you're ready, you can bring your hands down to the floor or in that direction. Bend the knees quite deeply. Breathe in as you reach the hands forward, dropping the bottom, standing tall, reaching up, opening your chest and finishing with your hands together at the center of the chest in Namaste. Wonderful stuff. Relaxing the arms to the sides. So this is just a short series of postures, practices that will help you find the spring inside. And I hope you've enjoyed them. Be sure to do perhaps a little bit of relaxing and releasing now. Um, a few movements on the floor if you're a floor yogi and a little seated relaxation if you're a chair yogi. I wish you lots and lots of love and hope to see you again. Namaste.